Sacre gum. Sacre gum. Episode 2. Stupid Reactions Idiots, I'm Corbin Miles, and this is Rick Siegel. Get to the chopper! If you're new to our channel, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell to be part of the notification squad. Boing! <laughs> <laughs> and where should they follow us, Corbin? Instagram! Twitter! Oh yeah, past couple times we've added a little accentuation. I know. Makes me oh, happy. So, uh, we are going to be reacting and reviewing episode two of Sacred Games. Sacred Dawn. Uh, we did episode one, if you'd like to see that, right here. Hello. And this, once again, is a spoiler. Yeah, if you haven't seen episode two, don't watch this. Why are you even here? Come, Come back later. title. <laughs> Sacred Dawn. So yeah, um, uh, in this episode we, uh, went a little we most people at the beginning of it were um kind of freaking out over the return slash death right of uh what's the main guy's name uh i mean the bad guy uh this uh, guy yes character his character is that's it yeah uh ganesh I, yeah I just, yeah yeah that guy uh but we also want you to know we figured out <laughs> We figured out how to watch it without having the yeah. overdub issue. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're idiots. We're uh, so stupid. So we, we, we did watch it in Hindi. With in Hindi. English, it was much, much, much better. Much better. Cleared up all of our Ah, oh, what a great show. <laughs> 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 yeah, so it was uh, mostly him uh, figuring out uh, people reacting to his death and trying to figure out why he returned. Right. And what the whole thing is. Right. And uh, Which is always the hardest thing to do with a new series is to get you established in, in, in midstream like that. It's yeah. hard to do. You, uh, I think this one was kind of more backstory. Less. This episode yeah. too? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you, you, I think the most interesting part still is younger... That bad guy, the... Yeah, his backstory. No, do you, how, how do you pronounce it? Nawazuddin... No, Nawazuddin Siddiqui? Yes. Yes, Nawazuddin Siddiqui. I think his backstory is so interesting. It's almost godfathery, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, and I thought the whole uh, him assembling the gang was yeah. real cool. I was like, oh, what's he going to do? And then he just freaking burns the guy. Yeah, it's like... Kills him, burns the guy. <laughs> or Scarface, actually. It's more yeah. Scarface-y. It's very this scarface This guy comes from obscurity. He's like, I'm going to rule this city. I do want to say... He was standing way too close to that gasoline. He would have been burned alive. Yeah, and he was like throwing it all over the place like this. Yeah, I, but I have to imagine some got on him, and then he like and then camps he, down. Yeah, like he stood this close <laughs> at when he threw it, and yeah, then right. he came back and he just started walking. I, he would have been engulfed. I was waiting for the music <laughs> to say "Salam Rocky by ro ro Rocky." <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, whatever, it doesn't really, this was, I thought it, it was funny. I know there was a big contribution with the fact that we were hearing it in Hindi and there was nothing to that disconnect. Yeah. This felt like leaps and bounds from episode one in terms of it being just f solid and through line all the way. Everything, direction, mm -hmm. score, lighting, makeup. This yeah. was pretty and clean. I think this is going to be, um, kind of the, almost the turning point episode. Yeah. And it's going to kind of heat up after this. Yeah, it feels this like. This was kind of like, the first episode was like, oh, kind of get you, this is like, Establishing, yeah, and then it's probably gonna have a huge uh, twist and plot turns in, in the next coming episode, which is exciting. Um, which <laughs> I did really enjoy uh, the say it, old lady, not old lady, but no, the, the restaurant lady, old, restaurant lady. right? Uh, yep. I thought she did. I loved her character. I thought she was great. I did too. Um, and uh, and one more, uh, the girl from Anda Anda Han. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, she Here. is... Anda, anda, anda. There you go, everybody. Anda, anda, anda. I know how you love how he says that. <laughs> I, I remembered her, but I was watching her intently, mm -hmm. and I noticed particularly when she's sitting at the bar and they're talking. Yeah, that was great. She's such a great listener, man. She I had is. to look her up, and yeah. of course, she's got massive theater yeah. background and training. Tons and of credits. It shows, because she is a fantastic... Fantastic listener. Yeah, she is. She did. She was a very captivating part of the oh, yeah. episode, which uh, which I think was a great addition because when you first met her, it was in the the er, uh, not first met her in this episode. It was in the interview when right. we were interviewing um, Sari Fali Khan's yeah. character about yeah. what happened. Who I like. Couple things, if I may. I liked him much better this time around, and I'm sure it was probably the disconnect, right? Because he wasn't dubbed over. But let, let me point out something that I get nitpicky about and I was really happy about. Uh -huh. The directing in this, 
first of all, that sequence when she gets to the place and all of these people are all laying around dead with all the shells on the yeah, ground. Yeah, which was a, it was a weird part of the thing to me. I don't know what was going what, on. What what that was? I didn't either. Whose place it was? No. Why they were all dead? I right. <laughs> and so I was like, what is going but on here? The way he shot that, oh, he yeah. shot it first up close with her, but then when she's coming in and she goes down the hallway. They did a, a dolly shot from the outside and tracked her from the yeah. outside. And I, I said out loud, great shot, man. Yeah. And let me tell you. That whole sequence was great. There was a moment where his turban, when he goes back in to take the evidence, right? He gets out of the car and he's walking in and there's some dirt marks on his turban. And I I'm, I'm thought, crap, continuity, man. They kept it. Oh, I would hope so. I would hope so too. And I was so happy that they paid attention to that little detail. So for me, it's this the small things. It, right. it's, it's the little things. I'm glad there was no piano playing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> and I thought the uh, relationship between Sarif Ali Khan and his partner yeah. was interesting. We had, I think they're setting it up to, uh, because obviously they're both, they, you figured out his wife left him. I love that we found that out. It explained a lot for me about it. And it was kind of just thrown in there. Right. His no. wife left him. And I love Oh, the, okay. Right. <laughs> that which was great. There was no... They didn't... They just let it be as we discovered it, rather than trying to give us all this indicating about the fact that his life... We didn't even know that in the first yeah. episode. I love um, But you figure out, obviously, this guy has this, like... Infected wound on his back, which is right. weird. Feel weird. Um, he right. can't have the money. He doesn't have the money for it. So he's like, "Con." And so I think they're setting it up for: Are they going to take the money? Are they going to turn? You think? Yeah. You who know? I mean, they're especially sorry, Father Con is set yeah. up as the good guy, right? In the episode, and his father, which we found There's out, there's a connection uh, between this bad guy and uh, sorry, Father Con's father. Yeah. Um, and so you wonder what they're going to do with all the money they found, right? <laughs> <laughs> like there was a bunch of stuff that I was like, wait, who's money? Wait, right. wait, <laughs> no. hold on. Yes, okay, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to kind of piece together a bunch of this stuff, but it, it was really interesting in what's going to happen in the next episode. So I think after the third episode, I think it's going to be a big plot point episode. Yeah, and I'd also like to know, because we're so ignorant to still, and we're learning about stuff in India, I think I know the answer to this question because it has to do with corruption, and corruption is everywhere. Yeah. I, I don't know how prevalent corruption is in law enforcement, and it may be different in some cities. Like in the United States, we have different issues in different cities where the police brutality or things with the police is different. So I, I, I just am wondering, yeah. is this an actual like social... Because so many of the things we've watched, especially of your con stuff, touches, doesn't just touch, just goes boom with a social issue. Mm -hmm. And I, I wonder if, if that's a... Also, if corruption in government and, and, the, and the police is a big deal. You remember it that, has to be. That scene where uh, she, that lady came in, she looked like a Muslim woman. She came in and the guy basically just turned her away, said he probably joined ISIS or something like that. Yeah. It was a really tiny, oh, yeah. tiny part. Yeah, she was asking about her missing son. Yeah. And he just threw it off as he joined ISIS or Al-Qaeda. Yeah, she threw him, didn't even care kind uh -huh. of thing. Um, and so I'm wondering what that's going to be because obviously he's showing some kind of... Yeah, and I still, they didn't touch on it, but... And it was have... just kind of thrown away too. It was like it's quick thing right. and it was... He... But it's called Sacred Games and there's been a couple of points where they've touched on it. They didn't talk about it a lot the second episode, but where... There's this religion, spiritual God thing that's coming into play. I wonder if this thing's going to take a dark, weird. Well, yeah, it's a very. It's, turn. It has a lot to do with religion. Yeah. This one, um, what is it called? It's called season the episode two, Hala 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 Hala. Um, so like Hala Hala. Uh, so the synopsis was news of that guy's death uh, activates uh, political forces in Mumbai. The internal tension in the police department results, results in Sartage. Yeah. Yes. So obviously what we got from the first episode when that little thing was that that head guy in the police force is corrupt. Is corrupt. And it's been he, around a while. And he asked Sari Fali Khan's characters, like, support me and I'll support you. And mm -hmm. Sari Fali Khan was like, no, uh huh? And then he was like, you're suspended. You're suspended. But did you notice he said, <coughs> turn in your weapon. And the very next scene, he had his weapon. He had his weapon. So I was wondering, did he not do it? Or obviously he didn't. And then, did you notice when he walks out of the room? <laughs> he walks out, and there's a lot of stuff going on. But there's one guy standing by the door, and as Sartage comes out, the guy sees him come out, and he gets yeah, on his phone. He starts calling. Yeah. Who was he calling? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. 
you know, lots, yeah. a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah, quite like excited it. for the next episode. I like it. Uh, so you'll see that whenever we watch it. Yep. <laughs> if you like it, <laughs> please let us know uh, what we missed. Do not give us any spoilers. Please, once again. Uh, please don't put spoilers in the comments, guys. I will delete your comment. Yeah, <laughs> he will. <laughs> and humiliate you. And we won't even keep reading. The minute I see. Sartage <clears throat> will become doink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I shall delete it and taunt you a second time. You, you shall. Swine. We shall come to your house and we shall give you a sound thrashing. <laughs> I shall fart in your general direction. Oh, don't do it, Corbin. <laughs>